Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Jeff at Lockdown Security, www.lockdownsecurity.ca. I'm bringing you a video today on this 2007 Mercedes SL550. And uh, what we did to this, we did a Kenwood DNR476 digital media slash Garmin navigation receiver. And then we did a Kenwood Exelon XR901-5 five-channel amplifier. Um, now, I'm going to tell you a couple of things on this vehicle. So originally, this car came in the other day. We were um, instructed by the client to do a head unit install. The client had brought us a most fiber optic adapter to retain the factory amp and supplied the radio to us. We were just tasked with basically supplying the dash kit, the antenna adapter, and the installation labor. So we put everything in. But as it turned out, the most adapter that the client provided failed. It wasn't working correctly. It was in and out. Uh, audio was intermittent. And upon reading reviews on the adapter that he had purchased, we had found out that very common issue with the adapter that he had gotten with the particular brand. So we made a decision in conjunction with the client to basically, instead of integrating the factory amp, just go ahead and replace it all together, which is what we did yesterday. We replaced the factory amp with the Kenwood Exelon 5 channel. So I'm going to get into the vehicle. Uh, apologize in advance. It's not fully back together yet. I just wanted to get this video done this morning before we uh, did the rest of the work. And I'm just going to show you a couple of things. I'll show you the head unit first, and then I'll show you the amp. So here we go. This is the uh, Metra dash kit. I don't know the exact part number, but I'll, I'll put it in the description for those of you with these vehicles. Uh, as you'll see, it's not put back together yet, so we don't have the bottom piece assembled. But basically, as you can see, the radio fits really nice. The Metra dash kit's a very nice piece. The fitment is great. And that's the DNR476 in the dash. Now, before I turn it on, this is the most fiber optic adapter that the client had provided. It's made by Extrons. As you can see, it's uh, designed in Germany, but assembled in China. No idea why they didn't capitalize the C in China, but kind of strange. Uh, this is the part number. Uh, essentially what this does, it takes a fiber optic signal, uh, or sorry, it takes an analog signal, analog RCA being this, analog audio left and right, and converts it into MOST, commonly regarded as most fiber optic out so that it can communicate uh, to the amplifier and it acts as a digital to analog converter. Now, this piece on Amazon is about 100 bucks Canadian, which is a fantastic deal when you compare it to some of the more mainstream line adapters from companies like NavTV, Crux, these other companies. When you go with a NavTV or a Crux interface for the same style part, essentially the exact same thing, you're paying somewhere in the range of six to 800 bucks, but the quality of those parts is quite high, whereas with this piece, from Extrons out of China. I mean, not to knock the Extrons brand, uh, I'm sure that they're a great brand, but uh, based on the reviews we saw online and based on our experience with this piece, the, the quality of it is not that great and it failed literally the day after we put it in. So this is why we ended up where we're at right now with regards to not only changing the head unit, but adding an aftermarket amp in the vehicle as well. So I'm gonna turn this on. I'll go through a couple of the features of this radio. We have made a YouTube video on this radio previously. Um, in concept, this radio is really nice. I like it. However, in execution, one of the things that you're probably going to see here, as you're going to notice, is the load time is quite uh, long. Um, I'm not sure if that's because the processor they have in this radio is not powerful enough or what it is, but literally the load time is, is significantly longer than other radios from Kenwood. Uh, once it loads, though, it is pretty responsive. Again, this is a digital media radio, one of the first of its kind that has Garmin navigation. So if I hit the navigation button, Garmin Nav is built in. That's a great feature, especially for those that know the Garmin interface. Garmin is regarded as one of the best navigation interfaces and navigation systems out there. Uh, this radio also has uh, Bluetooth. It has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So you could use your Apple uh, Maps or your Android Google Maps, Waze, uh, etc. for navigation. But if you're in an area that you don't have data coverage on your cell phone, for example, uh, and you want to have onboard nav, or let's say there's no cell phone reception, having onboard nav is a great tool. This radio has it. Uh, there is another version of this radio for those that are interested in a larger screen, the DNR876. We have not done a review on that uh, radio as of yet, uh, but I believe that radio has a slightly uh, higher end processor, so it will be faster. So basically, if I hit the home button, you're going to see here, this is the home splash screen. You can customize what buttons are along the bottom here. You've got telephone, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Nav. Uh, this is your main menu. The way in which you customize it is, let's say you wanted to drag and drop radio to the main. So basically, I've done that. 
And now radio is a quick source. House and wrapped in crunch, it will warm you from toes. So there you would have heard the audio from the Kenwood amplifier. Um, this is the AM FM radio. Let me just hit this button here. It brings down the setup uh, menu. So you've got your audio, all your EQ, your high pass filter, all of that. This radio is Maestro compatible. It's backup camera compatible. Uh, it's basically got all the bells and whistles of any other Kenwood radio, uh, except for digital media and no CD player. Uh, so I'm just going to hop out here. I want to show you the where we put the Kenwood amp in this vehicle. So we put it in the, uh, the back seat where the factory CD changer would go. Now, we are not finished the install, so this uh, remote base knob cable will get uh, basically tied down. But um, this is the Kenwood XR901-5. This is the five-channel lamp from Exelon. It's got built-in high-pass filters. It's got built-in low-pass filters. You gain control. It is five channels, so it's got a front left, front right, rear left, rear right, and a subwoofer output. Uh, in this particular vehicle, what we did was we retained all the factory speakers, which is what we're running off this Kenwood amp. We converted the rear speakers, which usually are summed mono speakers in the factory uh, setup, to stereo um, setup coming off of the rear channels of this amp. The client wanted to have rear fill, and these uh, rear speakers only worked on the Mercedes system if you had, uh, I believe it was Dolby Digital Encoded Music or DVD um, music. And uh, he wanted to have basically stereo sound as rear fill. So that's what we did for him. Um, as you can see, the cover still basically goes back on. And you would never know that we changed anything in this vehicle to aftermarket. I'm just going to put the seat back. 